A conservative group run by former top Trump officials is proposing a formal declaration of war on Mexican cartels and shutting down legal ports of entry at the border due to the number of illegal crossings. Now, of course, this comes as the midterms are less than a month away. Both parties trying to sway voters. On Balance host Leland Vitter is here. Uh, Leland, the timing of this obviously interesting, but how is this proposal any different from past U.S. efforts to fight cartels. Well, it goes way past anything President Trump did, right? There, there'd be two steps. One would be to declare the cartels terrorist organizations. And they are. They're de facto narco states uh, that control northern Mexico that are killing thousands upon thousands of Americans uh, with their drugs. That would be number one. This formal declaration of war, uh, you point out rightly, Nicole, comes 30 days before the midterms. And, and we know that uh, voters view immigration in the border as a weakness for Democrats. The more that can happen in this month for Republicans that keeps the violence of the cartels in the news, overdoses in the news, the number of people coming across the southern border in the news is seen as good for Republicans and bad for Democrats. So, and if this is a matter of declaring war on cartels, why didn't the former president do that when he was in office? Well, it's an excellent question, right? And you'll remember everyone was aghast when his former uh, defense secretary wrote in a book uh, that he wanted to use missiles, uh, Hellfire missiles from drones, mm -hmm. to take out cartel leadership and to take out the drug labs. And we asked a number of times, well, what would be so wrong with that, right? You know, when terrorists attacked the Twin Towers on 9-11 and killed thousands of Americans, we took their leadership out in Afghanistan. The cartels are killing thousands of Americans. Why wouldn't we hear? Uh, it's, it's telling that both the Trump administration, the Biden administration, the Bush administration, everybody's decided mm -hmm. they don't want to ruffle the Mexican government's feathers. Well, let's talk about resources. Uh, if, if a war were, in fact, declared, what type of resources would be unlocked here? Well, remember, Congress has to declare war. So you'd have to have a formal declaration of war uh, by Congress, which, which seems sort of far-fetched even in the, the most bizarre ways, uh, then you could actually go send the U.S. military to invade northern Mexico and, and use U.S. air power against the cartels and on and on and on. A again, sort of ridiculously far-fetched. If you declare them terrorist organizations, uh, you can go after uh, their funding. You can go after the banks that launder their money. You can go after uh, people who are providing the material support in the United States. That it opens up an entire uh, Pandora's box for the cartels. Absolutely. All right. Uh, Leland, give us a preview of what's on the show tonight. Uh, you and I have been talking about the Iranian mm -hmm. protests. Um, really interesting today, we heard from uh, the White House, they're going to reevaluate their relationship, not with the Iranians, right. with but Saudi, with Saudi Arabia. Right. So we're sort of wondering why uh, you're not reevaluating uh, your relationship with the Iranians right now. And we've got uh, former Ambassador John Bolton on that. All right. We will be watching. Leland, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.